Hi Gates fans, it's Wednesday, October 21st, and we just got finished watching Dave literally minutes ago, and I know you love it when I say that. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about Sammy, and I think she is really, really out of line here. Yeah. I don't know what the hell she's doing. This is complete crap. What is she talking about? I mean, telling Chad to give up the baby. I mean, who, how can she talk? I mean... Tell, tell her to give up Will right now. Oh, let let uh, Lucas take Will. You know, that's just it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. And she is doing it to protect Nicole. Who she seems like she for, hates Nicole. Oh my god. She's been friends for about five minutes. Is this like payback because Nicole helped um Sammy keep Johnny so she feels she owes her one? I'm not yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm not buying it. It's not a good it's not good writing. She spent the last like fifteen years hating Nicole. For every little thing she did, and now does she really feel justified in telling some young child to give their baby up? First of all, to give their baby up, and second of all, to give it to Nicole? I feel nothing when she's talking to Chad. I feel like she's doing a really good job being like convincing as a mom and all that, but it's unrealistic of Sammy to be, she's supposed to be Earth Mom and everything, to be telling her, telling this chat, this man, like she, she says to Mia. Are you sure you want to give up your baby? Yeah. She asks her what she wants. Yeah. So, it's complete crap. And this totally sucks for Mia because, you know, she did this agonizing thing of giving her baby up for adoption. And now if Chad gets the baby back, then she's signed up for mom again because it's a little different if she's not involved with Sydney if Chad's got her. Well, it serves me a right for doing it all, like, oh, yeah. below the radar. If she had done it legitimate, that? then this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, that was so crazy. Legitimate. But I'm not feeling any investment in what Sammy is like. Okay. Just let it be over. That's all I'm thinking. Borderline ready for the fast forward club. And Nicole going to Brady and begging him to run away. I don't get it. It's and like I didn't feel any chemistry between them zero, at all. Zero. I did not feel any pain in Brady's heart or Nicole's heart. She's not acting like she's in love and Brady's certainly like, shut up, I got Ari on the side. Yeah. Song. You waited too long, sister girl. Yeah, really. And uh what a surprise it was when that DA turned out to be Chad's dad. I love that. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I knew he was a lawyer when he walked in the. You know how they set it up. Yeah. Right? When he walked in the cafe, I went, oh, "This could be Chad's dad." Yeah. Oh, my God. But that's face, awesome. Son. Yeah, that's awesome. That. That. We uh, did not put that together. He kept on saying that uh, his dad, his parents were powerful and stuff. Yeah, we just they didn't know were how funny. powerful. But when Nicole mentioned. His father, she mentioned their names once, like, oh, your parents live at such and such address. Do you think they want to know about blah, blah, blah? Nicole didn't give any indication that he was the DA, and I'm sure Nicole yeah. knows who the DA is with her problems. Yeah, yeah. So, where's Kate? Not that I miss her. She's in the previews, but, you know, she should be there by bed, uh, Stefano's She's bedside. She's probably not allowed to be in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody thinks she did something. So, is Stefano waking up? Yeah. So what is Victor up to? I think he is on to Ari. He knows that Ari is undercover, I think. And so he's selling his side of the river drug business yeah. to EJ so that when Roman takes them down, he takes down the Demiras instead of the Kyriakasis, which Roman would be just as happy to get that fish. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He which one. And with uh, any luck... EJ will sell out Victor. We'll have nobody left. So I like the Ari and uh, Brady storyline. Yeah. That's kind of cute yeah. how they're meeting at the docks and they're keeping everybody secret. Yeah. Everything secret. Um, I do too. So. Maggie, could you be any more of a busybody? Oh, God. Good Lord. First you had, like, totally blow Sammy's cover and now you're off to, like, ruin Carly's life. I mean, she just wants to get some drugs for Rafe to live because we all want Rafe to live so that Rafe can let the cat out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and then Maggie, oh, I swear that woman looked familiar. Just how many female doctors are on this floor? Well, shut up. How annoying was she in the Java Cafe? Oh, yeah. Oh, your son will. It's so great. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Maggie. It's like somebody sends her a script of, oh, the cat's trying to get Oh, my God. I thought it was a hurricane. <laughs> Holy crap. We're almost at a hurricane season. <laughs> you see my eyes? Like, what the hell? I thought the house was caving in or something. Anyway, Nicole's acting like a complete loser. I just... Uh, 
All right, so the writing is poor. How, how, how low can you go, Nicole? Because now Sammy is like throwing everything into your defense, and she's like, Nicole, I'll be there for you. And Nicole looks up at her like, Oh my God. How much guilt must Nicole be feeling? The only person <laughs> in the world that wants to help her. And she stole her baby. I mean, that's the irony of it. That's uh, wonderful. But my God, look, Nicole is like the lowest of the low. There's no more hated character, yet she's loved by many. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> but I'm telling you what, I mean, she has got to fess up and give back that baby soon, or, oh, hell has no fury. I mean, everybody's commenting about what EJ and Sammy are going to do. Could you imagine the two of them pissed at you at the same time? It's not going to be pretty. But what... <laughs> You know, we've always talked about Nicole going ahead, and going ahead and telling EJ the truth, and that's her only hope. I and thought they were leading up to that. On um, one of the days I was up in New York, when Sammy said she would do it again, I said to my mom, "Oh, well, this is just leading up that Sammy's saying she would do it again, aka if I get Sydney back." Well, you know, obviously she doesn't know that, but it leads one to believe if she had a second chance, she'd do it again. So. If Nicole goes and tells EJ, this is really you and Sammy's baby, but don't tell her, because she just said she'd do it again. And then EJ might be like, okay, I'll live with you, you devil worshiper Nicole, yeah. if it means I can keep my baby. I think EJ's going to be the first to find out. Then he's going to tell Sammy, and they're going to go on the run together, and they're going to bond. Mm -hmm. Because they got to get those two together. Yeah, and then Rafe's going to be left holding the bag. Right. But is, is Rafe going to blow the uh, the cup? Who's going to blow this cover wide open? I mean, Rafe's holding the ticking time bomb, so they got to use him somehow. Yeah. What's going to come out in this custody battle? Do you think that the DA is going to ask for a DNA sample just to be sure? Yeah, probably. But why would they? I mean, if she's she's agreeing that it's their baby just yeah. to cover her arse. Yeah. So what else? Let's, let's That's talk. That's a previews, uh, Dan and Chloe, something about telling her there could be a problem with having a baby. But yeah. I, I wouldn't read too much into that. They could have taken that out, way out of context. Yeah. And same with uh, uh, Nicole and, and Sammy's speech. Um, you should be the last one to help me. Yeah, that Damn could be straight. completely... You know, there's nothing there. And then what is up with Kate telling Stephanie that her and Philip are meant to be together? Is she just trying to get back in Philip's good graces? And she figures if she gets him a... Uh... Is she a Stephanie hater? Oh, I guess she always did like Stephanie. Because for a while there, she liked all her children's choices and uh, lovers. And that was kind of strange. Victor's the Stephanie hater. Yeah. But he hates any, any woman. Practically, don't you think? Yeah, he's not really warm and fuzzy in any <laughs> real way. He calls them all slut whores and bimbos and... Yeah, not really. I'm glad that your dad's not Victor. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> anyway. Alright. The couple that watches stays together. Stays together. Mm -hmm. See you in Los Angeles. Yeah.